Hey everybody. Today we're going to be taking a look at an operating system that's in beta right now. It's based on Arch. Uh, it seems pretty impressive. This is the first time I've actually booted into it. The display settings won't let me change it to my native display. I will try to make it bigger inside of Caden Live when I do the editing on it. But we're taking a look at Instant OS. And basically what it is, is it's aimed more towards the power user. But I just want to get around it a little bit and see if it's really something that you have to be a power user to use. Uh, it comes with the Instant Window Manager. Uh, but like I said, I'm looking at it for the first time. And once you boot into it, this is where you're at. I've got it open in GNOME Boxes right now. And this is the Welcome app. It's got Get Started, Settings, Install, Document. Well, let's look at Get Started real quick. And I guess it doesn't do anything. Let's go to Settings. Let's see what we got for Settings. You got Search All Instant OS. Okay, it opened up. Okay, this is the video that it was opened up. Okay, they got their own YouTube channel. So that's what it was showing us. Taking screenshots. So they got a lot of good info here. But this is from two years ago. So I guess this beta has been kind of slow in the making. I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. Now, I do know if you come over here, click right there, it closes. Then we got the Welcome app. And then you come over here to Settings. We've got Sound, Display. Well, let me close out of the Welcome app as well. And then we can come over here. Okay, you just click anywhere and it opens up your applications. Let's see here. And then you can just scroll through them. Interesting. Let's see what file manager they got. I love the background that comes with it. All right, there's the file manager. Looks like files. Looks like the same thing you get with like a GNOME. And then you can go over to a different window and you can open something else up. There's your applications. Let's go back over to applications. Let's go to HTOP. Let's see what kind of resources we're using. Right now with the file manager open, you're using about 660 megabytes at rest and like i said i'm in a virtual machine so that might you know definitely drop down a little bit once you actually get it installed key bindings terminal let's go to key bindings okay so there are the key bindings super in space open text space application launcher right there so you could just type in anything you wanted to let's see if they got gimp they got vgimp port let's see what else they might have htop they do have do they have LibreOffice? LibreOffice? No, they don't. Let's see if they have a Calibre. No, let's just go over here and look at some things real quick. Let's go to a different window. Let's see what kind of applications we're looking at. And let's see, NeoWin, Shutdown, MPV Player, Nitrogen, Conky. And then you've got Ranger, ST, Install Instant OS. And then, of course, you can come up here, and all your applications can be listed there. Your settings, shut down, close menu, info. Okay, right there, it lets us know we're using the 6.1.12-arch1-1 kernel. 1920 by 1080, AMD Ryzen 7. So, yeah, and package management. I know you can get the usual Arch packages, but you can also use the Nix universal package manager as well on this distribution let's go back over here let's go to applications so that'll be all driven through the terminal install x archiver instant welcome we've already looked at that and then of course instant documentation let's open that up and see what it tells us oh and it just lets us know big thanks to the distros patreons and let's go back over here key bindings we've already looked at info the same thing so let's go ahead and close out of that close out of that go back to window one we'll close out of that and then come up here install instant clock date you can search applications there i guess let's open firefox up real quick i want to take a look at something show me that later let's go over here instant os We'll go to their home page, and I want to make that a little bigger so you guys can see it. Let's go ahead and zoom it up a little bit. And it's Arch Linux based distro that works out of the box, and it's aimed at the power user. Everything's lightning fast, flexible, just works. Power user friendly, ultra lightweight, feature rich, hybrid window manager. So, I mean, for a beta, it's kind of impressive, and I... I might even want to maybe install this on a backup laptop and play around with it a little bit. I haven't used a lot of window managers. I'm going to be quite honest with you. I've always used a desktop environment. So if you see me fiddling around here and not quite feeling 100% comfortable, I haven't used a window manager for probably seven years. And even then, I wasn't on it that long. 
but I do believe it's definitely something I want to take a look at. And hopefully I'll be able to get this resolution fixed in editing, make it bigger so you guys can see it. But that's a quick look at Instant OS. Um, it was a quick download. It wasn't too big. Uh, you might want to download it, throw it on a USB, or maybe throw it in a virtual machine and take it for a test drive and just take a look around and see what you might be able to do. Yeah, it's very interesting for a beta. I think it's definitely something I want to take a look at and get a little bit more in-depth in. I just wanted to give you all a quick look at it and get your feedback on it, see what you might think about it. So if you would, just drop that in the comments below. And if you do download it and try it and take it for a test drive, swing back by here and let me know how it goes. Do me a favor before you leave today. Please like the channel. Likes keep me in YouTube's algorithm, which means if you found the information in this video helpful, somebody else out there might as well. And subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe, as always. Thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.